a lot of the times these springs can get caught in the open position, where if a child just takes something, puts it in between the poles, they're in the fence. Uh, That's enough for them to squeeze through. Yeah. Now you think that it has to be left in that open position. However, here it's locked, and once I do it again, the spring pops off and falls apart. Huh. This is what's supposed to keep a child safe. This is the opening. This is the entry point. And if a child can get through an entry point that easily, is your pool fence really that safe? The Lifesaver latch is 100% goes all the way through the island. I'm going to change it out and we'll do the same test. Bilateral tension. It works upon itself. When you have a latch that goes all the way through an island and around to the other side, even if the child pulled this back, they're not going to be able to unlatch it unless they have two-handed coordination. You have to squeeze and then unlatch. But without the two-handed coordination, and just one-handed, if we did the same thing a lot harder, it's not coming out. That's the difference between a safe latch and a bad latch. And every other manufacturer in the pool fence industry carries those spring latches that break apart and a child can get through. This costs a little bit more, but your child's worth it.